Cheers. Hi, I'm Shez. I'm Gav. And this is our Beneteau Oceanus 430. We made our dream a reality. Welcome aboard to Astrid the Wombat. So tell me what you think of the boat. <laughs> Funny. I'm eating. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'm back. We're back together where we're supposed to be. And we both saw the boat yesterday. <laughs> and it was good. <laughs> <laughs> good for you. It was good. We both agreed it was good. What happened yesterday, babe? I worked all day really hard. What was the exciting Sam was thing? was wandering around on a boat all day with Dave. <sighs> I have to tell you, I think she uh, took a couple of buttons down on her blouse. Dave really likes Sharon. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we uh, put a deposit on the boat yesterday. Woo we did. We signed a boat sale contract subject to the survey, haul out and survey. Um, Pest building inspection. <laughs> <laughs> and we put a whole bunch of stuff on the provisos, didn't we? What do you call that? The, just in cases. In case, just in cases. Yeah. Um, but it's so exciting. And you know, it's funny, like I said in my, these previous videos, God knows what this is going to look like this episode, but anyway, <laughs> that I was FaceTiming Gav and I did, I FaceTimed Gav and he's like, to open this, this do this, sleepy. do this, do that. And then he was on a fit out for work. So tell everybody what, what was happening for you at the same time. Well, I was on a fit out for work. <laughs> <laughs> I was just really busy doing stuff, putting stuff together and, um, Sharon rang and I was set out in the, uh, in the smoke area of this company I was working at. And, um, and I could literally see my, oh no, he might watch this. Anyway, I could see my guide putting stuff together and I thought, oh my gosh, it's going to all crash down in one go. So I only had a, a limited amount of time I could be looking at the boat. <laughs> anyway, so I said to the guy, I, Sharon gave me the wink wink and I went, all right. So I said to the guy, what's the least you'd take for this boat? And then Sharon did the rest, really. It was really good. It was like right when we started the negotiation of like what our budget was and everything. Mm. Um, <laughs> I had yeah. to rush and save this goes, guy. Well, I've got to go. And um, <laughs> so I was like, oh, okay, it's me now. So, um, but then, you know, we negotiated and it was really important to us that we were happy, obviously, but that... Um, the current owner was really happy as well. We want we wanted everyone to feel good about it, and we did. We got to a place where we all felt really good, and um, then I Gab was in the meantime working and had no idea what was happening after this. So I said, yeah. "It's fine for me. I knew what was happening. I knew how much money I'd spent, but he's literally handed me the cash book. <laughs> Let yeah, me go." Exactly like. So um, I have to tell you, the guy, his name is Dave, and. Um, he is possibly the nicest person you've ever met in your life. He's, yeah. I hope we get him on film and you guys get will. to meet him because he is genuinely a top line. Oh, my gosh. It's and, like when you meet someone and we thought yeah. this, and I think we mentioned it in the, uh, when we were talking about after we'd FaceTime with him for the first time. I feel like he's going to be our friend and you just yeah. meet people that you click with and he's one of those he's people. He's just genuinely such a good person. So... We are hopeful that um, he's in, in, you know, obviously got a whole life and, and business and all this sort of stuff. But we've asked him if he would um, sail back with us from, you know, Townsville to Brisbane. So, like, I think I've mentioned it's about a six-day sail. Conditions all been good. Um, we don't know how to sail. Like, we've literally never pulled up a sail. <laughs> and so we asked him if he would do it. And he goes, oh, no, I think that'll be good. And then I said to him, Dave, full disclosure, we don't know how to sail. You could get 24 hours in, want to sail close to land, land and just take a dive and think these guys are the two biggest dickheads that you've ever met. But I can't say dickheads. Well, I think You're you going to have to bleep that. I think, well... You're going to have to learn how to bleep something. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. he... Um, Vagina. 
<laughs> he, <laughs> he laughed and, and um, but yeah, we're going to try and work it out so that we can all sail back together. Yeah, it'd be cool to have him on the so boat good, to teach cause... us, hey, because like he's, the guy's got mad skills, which is, he's an engineer and he's got some amazing skills. The boat is, um, we amazing. looked at, we t you saw us look at that other boat, same model, same year-ish, you know, and um, his boat is immaculate. They're yeah, like compared to the other one, yeah, like and we were disappointed. We lost the other one, yeah. you know, like we were, we were upset about it, and but we didn't know that it could be better. Yeah. And this guy has got mad skills in keeping things perfect, and yeah. uh, so we're really grateful that he's accepted our offer. Yeah, yeah. and who better learn from about a particular boat than? The yeah. owner, like the guy that's been living on it and has done all the sailing on it. You know, no yeah. one knows it better because every boat is so different. And I think it's a lesson, like we mentioned, that we wanted to be filming all of this stuff. And obviously it's not sailing, but when we were looking for boats, we were looking for this content. Like we were like, okay, all we'd get was the yeah. we've got a boat and then we're starting to sail. Mm. We had all the questions about, well, what happened before that? Like how did you get from a house to, to a boat, which, you know, obviously we're going to be showing that now, like how to downsize, how to get there. Um, how did you decide on a boat? What does that look like? Um, mm. And I'm actually going to put together a guide on, you know, how you can um, broker the sale yourself. Like obviously this is Australian based. It might be different in other countries, but I'm going to actually put together a guide of what things that you need, how to set up yeah. the contract, all that sort of stuff, because, the amount of time that um, we've spent finding all of those details, like really researching how to have a boat contract and all that has been unbelievable. Yeah. If we had a guy that could just tell us, I would have been over the moon. Um, if we had, yeah, episodes where we could see what they're doing, that, that yeah, is literally what we're Yeah, there's stuff from Europe that at. we've watched. Uh, yeah. Guys, you know, like spending a lot of time looking around boat yards and stuff. Mm. But it's mainly mean um, boats that are, you know, they're getting for a pound or a yeah. euro or whatever. And these things are really need to be, you know. We, or salvage a, boats. We've seen a few. Yeah, like, we've seen that too. And that's been really cool. salvage boats, which is really we've cool. seen a lot of, like, that's been awesome for us. But, I mean, I don't think that we, with this boat, we need to really do anything to it. Yeah. So, maybe something. I don't know. There's always going to be something. We'll drill but... something, I promise you. There'll be an episode on that. Me drilling something into something. Yeah, there's yeah. always going to be something <laughs> that you're going to have to do, and we're anyway. aware of that. But mm. I think, um, I think just the process of how do you figure out which boat that you want to have, and I, and you know we see a lot of people go, oh, we were fixated on this type of boat, and we were too. Like we, oh, we're so fucking boring. Let's finish this. We were fixated on that, <laughs> but how do you find the boat that you want, and then what happens after that? So we're going to cover a lot of that off. Bottom line, where we're at now, it is today, the 1st of September. <laughs> the boat will be hauled out and the survey will happen on the 26th of September. So it's, it's all racing up in the far north Queensland, so there's a bit of delay. Haul out and survey. You need to explain that. There's a big race meet up there at the moment. So these boats going in and out of the water all the time. Yeah. The race boats. And, um, you know, $3 million more than our boat costs. <laughs> yeah, so we're in line. So 26th they, they, of September. They get a bit of precedence. Yeah. yeah, 26th of September for our haul out and um, survey. And then once that's all done, we will wait for the right winds to bring it back. And it look, it's usually November. Um, so we're at this point in time, loosely, we're looking at the first week of November, depending on Dave's availability. Uh, we'll take time off work and literally... You talk about shakedown sails on your new boat, but this is a shakedown <laughs> sail as in we've never sailed before. And our first experience is going to be six days straight through um, back down here, which we've actually not seen on any videos either like that. Um, and we know it's going to be hard, so we're going to get an intro. intro so if you want to see two people who've got no <laughs> fucking idea what they're doing, go sailing for six yeah. days straight yeah. on a 600 600 no how, how many nautical miles is it it's a ridiculous amount of nautical yeah. miles we'll get back to you on that how many nautical miles it is but uh it's six days sail six days at six knots and um if you want to see two people you know actually destroy their lives <laughs> give us a like give us a click 
Hopefully and, we still uh, love it when we get back. And uh, I determined not to cry. Well, actually, it's more Gav's a bit of a crier, aren't you? Hopefully you don't <laughs> burst into tears and stuff during that. All right, that I'm done with this video, so let's go. Finish <laughs> it up. He's crying already. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> but we are boat, potential boat owners. We've got a contract. Woo -hoo -hoo. Name to come. Push the button. See you guys. See ya. Hi everyone, thought it was about time to do an update. It's been a pretty big week here. Um, it's just me because Gab's in Sydney working. Um, but we had the boat hauled out and the marine survey done on Tuesday. It's Friday today. I'll put up some pictures of it all hauled out and everything. Um, and it went really well. Um, the, there were no issues really. So it was amazing. Like... We didn't expect that there'd be anything major with it, but, you know, you always think there's going to be a whole lot of little things that you have to do, but really not much at all. Um, the surveyor was so impressed with the boat, which has made us feel really good. So, uh, yeah, now we just have to um, gather the dollars and um, pay for it, so go forward with the sale. Um, I've been organising all of that. Gab's got, like, so much on his plate at the moment with work, so... Um, yeah, I've taken on all of that stuff. So I was awake about every hour and a half last night, stressing over it. Standard. Um, and yeah, so hopefully that'll all be paid by the end of next week. Um, be easier if there weren't public holidays for football finals and stuff like that. But anyway, um, yeah, and then I've uh, been like on the answer site looking at how to transfer registration and everything. Pro tip, it'd be good if they just spoke in normal language and not government stupid bureaucratic language. But anyway, in true share and form, I've printed everything off, paper clipped it together, put it in numerical order of what we need to do and utilise post-it notes. So I think, you know, got that all sorted. So that's good. Um so, yeah, so um, being Friday this weekend, I've got um, big plans. So I need to empty my office, get it all sorted out um, so that I'm just down to the laptop and everything's all, you know, sorted, can get rid of bookshelves and all that sort of stuff. So that's going to be a day's work there. So that's Saturday. It's a long weekend this weekend. Um, Sunday, I am doing my boat license. I'm not going to film because I'm there by myself and... To be honest, I'm terrified about the whole thing. Like, I hate this stuff. I hate anything to do with being assessed on something. I just, yeah, I don't want to do it at all. So I pulled the pin and did it while Gab's away so that I can just do it. Um, minimum fuss. I just, yeah, so I've got to do all the modules and everything for that before Sunday. So, um, yeah, I'm going to try and get some of that done tonight. Um, and then on Monday... Um, we have a FaceTime meeting with the people that are helping us bring the boat back from Townsville. Um, and, yeah, I'm going to try and pack up and organise some more stuff in the house. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. I want to get rid of a cabinet in the bathroom and also more clothes and stuff. So, um, yeah, I'm not too sure which way to tackle for Monday yet. It could still be my office by that point. I don't know. <laughs> Depends how long that takes. Um so, yeah, I'll tackle that when it comes. The plan will evolve. But in the meantime, we are very excited. Um, the boat is awesome. We're going ahead with the sail. Um, and, yeah, we are super stoked. I was so stressed on Tuesday when it was hauled out. I was like, mm, expectant mother almost, you know, just panicking over the whole thing. I think I must be just such a stress head. It just sits in my mind. Something that I'm looking forward to getting rid of when we get out loud on the boat is this stressing over everything. Um, but anyway, i got to go. I have a Pilates session to go to this morning. Um, so, yeah, I'm off to Pilates. See you guys. Good morning, everyone. Um, thought I'd provide a bit of an update. Gab's still in Sydney. Um, all the finance came through yesterday, so we have the money for the boat in the bank, um, which is extremely exciting. And um, 
I slept better last night than I have in, I can't tell you how long. Um, so, yeah, it's all happening. I sent the owner the um, change of registration form last night, well, one of them that he needs to complete. Um, and today I'll go into the bank and um, do a bank transfer to get that money to him. So, yeah, by the end of today, um, we will officially own the, the boat, which is unbelievable. So I'll update again then. Um, I've been working through all the paperwork, um, to get the boat registered and, uh, yeah, there's a lot of paperwork. So there's more I've got to print off today. Um, it's a matter of going really slow and sort of trying to figure it out as well. Um, very different to if you buy a car privately in Australia anyway, it's, it's one form, just that change of registration form. Um, the boat is Australian registered, um, which means that we can take it, you know, out internationally. Um, but it's not state registered yet, so we need to get it state registered. Um, it's come up from Melbourne originally. And in Melbourne, they you only have to have Australian registration. You, they don't expect that you do both. But in every other state, you need to do Australian plus the state that you're in. Um, it's kind of ridiculous, but yeah. So I'll need to do the state registration for it. So um, yeah, that's another thing that I'll get done. Hopefully I can get to main roads and do that tomorrow. So it'll be registered in the state uh, tomorrow, which will be very exciting. And um, yeah, so it's all all happening. Um, yeah, th I think that's the main update. Um, oh, and I bought something too. I bought something really exciting. So I'm gonna show you that. All right. See you guys. Okay, so this is what I bought yesterday. Uh, it is the brand new GoPro Hero 12 Black Creator Edition. Uh, this thing is so cool. Um, and I've been looking at the reviews and watching YouTube stuff on how it works and all that sort of stuff, and it's going to be amazing. So we've got about a month before we sail uh, the boat back and uh, nearly, nearly use the name then. And um, that'll give you a month to get to know how to use this. And we'll be able to have some great content for you for the uh, Shakedown Cruise. Very exciting. Okay, so we've got here some aged Canadian club. This is stuff that my dad, who passed away six years ago, had left from his stash. We've not had any yet. But given that we are now officially boat owners, it's registered in our name, we figured this was the time to drink it. Been waiting just for a reason. It's going in my new cup, my scuba shares cup, Gav's massive cup. And uh, yeah, this will be our official toast to being boat owners. Very excited. Wouldn't it have been great if we actually filmed the toast? Yeah, that would have been super. Steep learning curve. I keep saying at the end of every episode, if you look to the end, you'll see on the scroll, we promise we'll get better. We are getting better. We know a lot more now about what to film and what not to exciting now we're up to the stage we're getting ready to go and get the boat um so the journey is on guys have a great week enjoy yourselves gab's coming home today so i'm very 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 happy and like and subscribe see ya